Hello and today I'll be reviewing Pokemon Journeys episode 49, Chloe and the Mysterious Eevee. This episode was better than what I was expecting and it was a really good episode for Koharu. Because with this episode we finally get to the start to her journey as a trainer. So right off the bat the episode starts with Go in his school uniform and he says he looks good in everything which is funny because to me now he just looks weird. And I wasn't expecting Go to ever go back to school, I thought he dropped out of school like Ash did in Sun and Moon. But we see that he's still enrolled in this episode. Next we see the researchers at the Eevee lab with all the current evolutions and Eevee who's imagining itself as Sylveon and Vaporeon, but it can't exactly pull it off. So then the researchers take Eevee and try to evolve it with a Firestone, but that doesn't work. Then they try a Thunderstone and that doesn't work either, which was pretty interesting since we've never seen a Pokemon fail to evolve when using the stones. After that we see Go and Chloe walking to school and Go asks her why she hasn't caught any Pokemon yet and she says that she has Yamper, but Go says that's the professor's Pokemon and he's talking about getting one of her own and she says maybe she won't and then she talks about how people are always placing expectations on her since she's the professor's daughter which is something she doesn't like. And this is a reference to episode 11 where people were placing expectations on her saying that she'll follow in her father's footsteps even though she hasn't decided a path that she wants to pick for herself yet. So then Go apologizes and Koharu apologizes for making Go apologize and she says that her mom that she spoke with her mom and she said that one day she'll decide on a path of her own and after that we learn why Go came to school and it's because he promised his teacher that he would show up on test days which is something Koharu didn't even know. And we also learned that Go studies with Renji, which is how he prepared for the test. But I'm guessing Go figures he can just learn whatever he needs to while he's on his journey so he doesn't show up for school. Maybe we'll get this more with Koharu later. So after that, Go leaves Sobble crying in the garden with Cinderace and heads to class. Meanwhile, Eevee meets Yamper and decides to follow it around and then the researchers decide to chase after them. We also see that Team Rocket is plotting to steal the Pokemon. Then Koharu notices that Yamper is outside barking, so after freaking out a bit, she goes outside to meet it. And then Yamper takes Koharu to meet Eevee, and then they have their meeting of destiny moment. Meanwhile, Ash is searching after the researchers who are chasing down Yamper and Eevee. And while that's going on, Koharu notices the researchers are chasing Eevee too and calls Go for help. So then Go distracts the researchers so that Koharu can run away. And while that's going on, Team Rocket just starts stealing Pokemon from the garden. Then Ash shows up and then falls into their pit trap, which I thought was funny since we haven't seen that in a while. So then Go and Koharu show up and find out that the researchers aren't the bad guys. So then Team Rocket reveals themselves and gets ready to battle them, but the gacha machine is broken, so they're forced to use Pelipper instead. So after Yamper can't win even though it has a 4 times advantage, Eevee decides to help it out since they've become friends and gets them both to use Spark at the same time. I'm guessing Eevee was able to use Spark because it has the move Copycat, that's what it says on Bulbapedia I believe. And with that they send Pelipper flying and so after that Ash comes in and sends Team Rocket flying with Pelipper. So after that the researchers come back to take Eevee and apologize and as they're leaving Eevee runs back to Koharu who she's grown to love according to Ash. Then we're told that Eevee won't evolve into any of its other evolutions and that maybe this Eevee's genes are more unstable or maybe it's just hesitant and unable to decide which path it wants to choose which kind of reminds me of Koharu herself who hasn't decided what she wants to do. And if I had to take a guess I would say that this Eevee is more like the ones in the Let's Go games who learn the special moves. And if it is that means it can Gigantamax and I think that's probably what they're going for here that this Eevee is a Gigantamax Eevee which is why it can't evolve. The only other option would be that this Eevee might end up being a new evolution but I wouldn't get your hopes up. So after that Koharu is asked to look after Eevee and so then she catches it making it her first Pokemon. This also means that in four of the eight generations of the anime a Poke girl has an Eevee so she joins Mei, Serena, and Lana. But I think this is actually a really good fit just because of who Eevee, what Eevee is as a Pokemon because Eevee is a Pokemon with many possibilities to evolve just like Koharu who doesn't know what path she'll take she has lots of options open to her. After that she gets her Rotom smartphone with a Pokedex and realizes that Eevee, like I was saying, has lots of possibilities and says that she'll take it one step at a time. 
So with that, she officially becomes a trainer. I really look forward to seeing what she does next as a new trainer with a special Eevee. But with that being said, I give this episode an 8 out of 10. Let me know what you thought of this episode and what you think about Eevee. Thanks for watching and bye.